Thank you. California Attorney General Javier Becerra says he will appeal the ruling that overturned California's right to die law. A judge in Riverside County made that ruling yesterday. The judge contended the right to die law was introduced in the wrong forum and was passed during a special session on health care funding. The law allows terminally ill patients to request lethal medications from their doctors. Joining me now is Dan Diaz. His wife, Brittany Menard, in 2014 moved to Oregon to end her own life after she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Her story inspired this California law. Thank you for joining me, Dan, this morning. Uh, let's talk about the judge's ruling specifically when he says that uh, the legislature violated the state constitution, talking about the special session, describing it as a matter of health care funding, not end-of-life issues. What do you say to that? The governor calls or opens a special session and that uh, the special session was for health and health related matters. Um, the opposition to this are trying to contend that it doesn't fall into that. Um, clearly end of life issues um, and everything that my wife Brittany was going through, these are health related issues. This program allows a terminally ill individual the option to have a gentle dying process. Um, so, yeah, I, I um, wholeheartedly disagree, uh, and my hope is that uh, with the appeals process that we move forward and um, we'll be able to um, have this legislation stand. I think it was appropriate to go through the special well, session. Opponents of the law would say that if this were debated in a regular session, not a special session, there would be more debate, there would be more scrutiny against it. You agree with that or not? No, and the reason is because we brought this through the Senate when we introduced it, went through the Health Committee, Judicial Committee, um, the Appropriations Committee, then it went to the full floor of the Senate. So all 40 senators were able to vote on it. We then took it to the Assembly side. We started moving through. There was, we saw that all of a sudden there was some opposition in the Health Committee. Um, and so we saw the opportunity to go through the special session and decided that would be the avenue. However, it then went to the entire floor of the assembly. So all 80 assembly members of the state of California had their opportunity to vote up or down on this, and they passed it. It then went back to the Senate for a floor vote, and then finally to the governor for his signature. So there was plenty of opportunity for these legislators, both on the Senate, the assembly side, and then the, the, the governor, to make their decision that they would support this. We mentioned the attorney general wanting to appeal this. Uh, since the ruling came down yesterday, have you spoken to the attorney general? Have you spoken to the governor? What's your role going to be moving forward? My promise to Brittany <clears throat> was to work on this legislation um, so that no other terminally ill individual would, <clears throat> uh, would ever have to go through what she went through of having to leave her, leave her home, leave their home after being told you have six months to live. So yes, my efforts now, my focus will be back on California um, and I certainly will be reaching out to the Attorney General, to the Governor um, to um, help whatever I can do to guide and influence that this ruling from the judge yesterday needs to be appealed. Uh, and that this sound legislation, which has been in practice now for two years, um, Californians, who, by the way, Californians support this, 76% of Californians are agree with Brittany that a terminally ill individual should have this option at end of life. So I know I'm in good company, so it won't just be me um, reaching out to the Attorney General and to the Governor, but the majority of Californians putting pressure on them to say this law needs to stand. And since the law went into uh, effect, according to a state report, 111 terminally ill Californians exercised their right to die in the first six months yeah. after that went into effect. And to me, the more meaningful thing of that report, that's California's annual report that they right. put out, there were 191 prescriptions that were written, and of those, there were 111 individuals that needed, ended up needing to utilize it. The meaningful uh, data point in that report to me is that those 191 prescriptions were written by 173 different physicians. Mm. To me, that just shows... Wide-ranging. Yes, right. this is very judiciously being put into practice. Some challenge the California law argued that it lacks safeguards. You often hear the word assisted suicide as well. Mm. This is not, your, your wife did not take her own life. No. My argument, right? The, the, uh, a person who is suicidal is somebody who wants to die. Brittany wanted to live. Mm. It was that brain tumor that was ending her mm. life. And of that, she had no control. The only choice, the only control that Brittany had is she's not choosing between living and dying. This isn't a pro-life or pro-choice type argument. 
the Legal Life Defense Fund, who I think is one of the plaintiffs in this case, right. they try to conflate it and make it seem like it's a pro-life or pro-choice. That has nothing to do with this. The only choice that Brittany is making, a terminally ill individual is making, is not between living or dying. The decision to continue to live is not on, no longer on the table for her. The only decision that Brittany, uh, the only choice that she has is between two different methods of dying. One is gently. The other would be that brain tumor tortures her to death. And that's where the opponents to this, they never offer any sort of remedy or alternative. Um, there are cases of terminal or palliative sedations. There are other things that hospice and palliative care can do in their efforts to keep a person comfortable. But the statement by the California Medical Association highlighted that in certain cases that is not always enough. And that is why this legislation, why Brittany spoke up for it and, and why I continue to advocate for, for it, it being an option for Californians. Well, as the Attorney General uh, makes the fight now in, in the appeal process, I'm sure we'll be talking to you in the future. So uh, we appreciate your time coming in. Thank you. I know you're very busy, Dan. Thank, Thank you, you for again. the opportunity.